Hey, everybody, welcome to the podcast. I'm Aaron McCray here with my good buddy video guy, Jared. What's up, Jared? Not much. Been watching March Madness. Oh. On the big screen with a multi view. March Madness. It's the best time of the year. Isn't There's very little baseball, there's no football. Well, real football. It's just basketball. It's the greatest time of the year for sports. Is UNC even in March Madness? No. <laughs> I didn't think so. I was watching the Duke game and I was like, I wonder if North Carolina Duke was and now they're not. So they're upset city. There's an upset all the time. I know a lot of you could care less about March Madness and that's okay. I don't know. I don't know. A lot of fans. A lot, a lot of, of ad fans. space. Okay, there you go. That's one way to look at it. First of all, if you like what you're hearing, subscribe. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click on the icon for notifications. Subscribe. That's really official, Jared. Thank you. <laughs> we're, we're getting better every week, you know? Yeah, exactly. All right. So I got a question for you. Okay. Because we had questions that people submitted through our social media channel, right? Yeah. Okay. And this was on the nose. Uh, and it ties into March Madness in a way. <laughs> <laughs> uh, why did you leave North Carolina? That was a real question. That was a real question. Well, first of all, I want to say thanks, mom, for the question. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry to leave. Uh, that's other a, other that's, than the obvious, the weather, the the weather. Well, I mean, you know, our family left North Carolina to move um, outside of Chicago, uh, Mundelein, and then Vernon Hills, Illinois, specifically. Then we were for a few years outside of Phoenix. Now for 11 years almost, we've been here outside of Los Angeles in Rancho Cucamonga, California. It's a real place. It's a real place. You know, the, the simple answer is God. Uh, but we really felt like we were in a season where um, we were prayerfully considering um, what's the best use of our life? Where is God leading us? Um, we, we thought it was in ministry. And so we were just looking at opportunities and we were in a discernment process with other people saying, pray with us, help us figure this out. Uh, praying to God, reading scripture, and God opened up an opportunity that it just really was hard to say no. Now, it didn't make any sense financially. It we, we barely made enough money to live. It didn't make a lot of sense leaving family when you have two babies and one in the womb. Our son was born once we got there. But it made all the sense when you look at looked at things through like a spiritual lens, that God was up to something unique and he was inviting us to trust him and walk by faith. And we did that and we saw him provide in fabulous ways. So that's we didn't leave North Carolina. We weren't mad at North Carolina, still not mad at North Carolina, uh, but we left and it was a great decision. And we haven't looked back from the standpoint of second guessing ourselves. It was obvious God was all in that. So, Wait, so you went so you went North Carolina, then Chicago, Chicago. area, Chicago land. Yep. And then Arizona. Yep. And then Rancho. Then out here to California. Yeah. Yeah. Do you feel like each of those was a... Yeah, you know, like a North Carolina context, jumping to California would have been a fairly significant cultural difference. Chicago was a good first step. And then Phoenix was a really, Phoenix area was a really good step in preparation for here. I mean, a lot of people in Phoenix used to be in Southern California. So culturally, it really was a get used to um, new ways of thinking and doing and, and that kind of thing. So it really felt like a preparation. We slowly moved westward, but we also understood the culture and understood a little bit better. We're not, I was born and raised in the South. Holly, my wife was not, but really understood, hey, there's, there's a different cultural context that you've got to take sort of into the equation when you're doing life and ministry. Yeah, I think a lot of people probably have the reverse question, mm. like why are you thinking about leaving California? <laughs> why would you not get out of here? Yeah, but they totally. probably sit with the same things, right? Totally. Like, is well, it, is you it know, God, I think, is it not? Absolutely, and I think the reality um, of this world is there's the grass is always greener on the other side. It's easy and tempting to think it's safer somewhere else, but there's bad stuff everywhere. Uh, and there's good stuff everywhere. And um, really, it's a question of what what is God's will for your life in a season? Where is he placing you? Um, he knows our times. He knows the seasons of our life. And I would rather be with God in the center of his will, wherever that is. It just so happens for us right now to be fairly close to the beach and fairly close to the mountains. We love it. Tough life, uh, huh, Pastor? It's really <laughs> tough. And so thank you, God, for that. But, you know, I, I have no escapist. Uh, mentality for California. No running away. Like in many ways, this is a beautiful mission field with people who need Jesus. Uh, 
And it can't just be simply what's best for me, what's easiest for me, where do I most align with everybody? That can't be the only questions we're asking. Now, there's real financial factors in living in Southern California that we have to be mindful of. But yet there's also this, where is God leading us? And others around us are invited into a discernment process. We're not independent, isolated people doing whatever we feel is right. We're trying to follow God step by step with a community of people. All right. Long answer to a short question. Well, but it's, I think a lot of people are asking that, especially, yeah. Yeah. I mean, statistics are 2020 flipped yes, the United yes. States, the great right? reshuffle is not just a job thing. It's also a geographic move thing as well. Yeah. Yeah. I thought it was a weird question on the surface. Now I'm like, there might've been layers of this question Absolutely. for somebody else. You Absolutely. Know? Yep. All right. Well, that was good. Subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> I'm never going to get good at this. Hey, if you like this, though, watch us on Sundays. You can hear more from this man right here and all of his wisdom. For better or worse. For better or worse. There you go. We'll see you next time. <laughs>